Let's talk about confidence interval. Assume that we have a production factory that produces 100 milliliter cola um, soft drinks and uh, we want to know what is the, the average uh, milliliter in every bottle in the population of the uh, bottles that are pr produced in this factory. And let's assume that we already know that the standard deviation of the production is 6 milliliters. Now we take a sample. We take a sample of size 36. So we take these 36 sam sample bottles and we look at how many liters are, uh, how many milliliters is in every bottle. And we see, okay, on average there are 95 milliliters in these bottles. And now the question that we ask ourselves, can we assume just because this sample shows that on average there are 95 milliliter uh, in each bottle, can we assume that the population average is also 95 or not? Based on what we already know, we can say that the distribution of all of these possible samples of size 36 is certainly a normal distribution because the sample size is more than 30 and also we know that the, the distribution of these possible samples are not as dispersed as the original population if the standard deviation of the population is 6 the standard deviation of the sample means will be one. So now we ask ourselves, can we say uh, what is the mean of the population? Can we use this sample to estimate the mean of the population? One answer is that yes, we can assume that the mean of the sample, uh, which is 95, is in fact an indicator of the mean of the population but we want to know how much are we confident about this what is the chance that the mean of the real population has been 94 milliliters but by accident we took a sample and this sample has a mean of 95 we should be able to answer this question easily if we know that the, the distribution of all of the possible samples has a normal curve and uh, we are going to assume that the mean of the population has been 94 therefore we know that the mean of the sample distribution of all of these means will be 94 too now the question is that okay if the mean of all of these distribution has been 94 what is the chance that this sample that we took in our hand um, has a uh, mean of 95 we know that chance the chance of being one standard deviation far from the mean and that's 34 percent also there is another chance that the mean of the population has been 96 therefore the mean of the sample distribution of sample means is also 96 and by accident the mean that is in our hand has a uh, an average of 95 milliliters there is another 34 percent chance for this so in general we can say we have a 68 percent chance that the mean of population is between 94 and 96 now look at this the same thing can be argued for other two scenarios what if the mean of the population has been 97 and the mean of the sample that we took in our hand is 95 there is a 47 percent chance and uh, also there is a 47 percent chance that the mean of the population has been 93 and the mean of the sample distribution of sample mean is also 93 but the sample that we took by accident has an average of 95 there's 47 percent chance for that too so we can also say that we have more than 95% chance that the mean of the population is between 93 and 97. Now this is uh, what we call confidence interval. So we can summarize what we said. We can say the 95% confidence interval is between 93 and 97.